Hey YouTube, it's 98 Murray here. I just thought I'd do a video of showing uh, the most of my Murray collection, which is out here in storage. I keep only about four mowers, three mowers at the house. I've only got so much room, so I figured I'd show you all the, the bulk of the collection. Uh, I guess we'll start with this one on the trailer here. This one's a first generation Murray lawn tractor. It's a, I don't know the year because the tag's missing, but it's either 74 or 75. Um, Murray started building riding mowers in 67, I believe, but they were, uh, or just lawn mowers in general, but they were, uh, you know, push mowers and rear engine riders. Um, they didn't build their first lawn tractor until 74, and it was basically this thing right here. Um, they offered them, um, you know, with headlights and electric start, or they offered them with no headlights and pull start and stuff like that. This one's got electric start, it's got headlights, it's got a four-speed or three-speed transaxle, 36-inch deck. Funny enough, this thing actually runs, drives, and mows. Um, it's ugly. It looks rough, but it works. It, it works. Um, the guy I got it from, uh, he said his grandfather bought it new, and uh, he worked at Boeing for over 35 or 40 years. That's why it's got all kinds of airplane stickers on it. It's a pretty neat old mower. Uh, it's missing the side panels for the hood, sadly, but, yeah, I don't... It's not big deal i mean i'm never gonna find any but you know it is what it is I'm, i've been into these murrays for over 12 years now i've only seen less than 10 of these particular lawn tractors like this this first generation they're very very hard to come by anymore they're just ain't many of them out there so i was glad to get this one i got this up in kansas here not too long ago so pretty neat little mower like i said it works it runs it drives it's got dead battery and a flat tire but yeah that's that's about normal around here so and it's got a neat little toolbox under the seat what a what a handy idea yeah pretty neat little old mower over here we've got the bulk of the collection i guess we'll start on this end and work our way down there's a scott's uh 17 horse briggs v twin i think let me look yeah, V-twin, 17 horse V-twin Intec. This thing runs, it mows, it's a six speed, it's a 42 inch deck. I actually mowed my yard with it a couple times, but the uh, it's got a pulley out on the drive belt. Uh, one of the bearings is out, so it's ain't nothing. I can fix it quick. I just ain't done it because I got plenty of other mowers to use, so I just I just parked it here. It's gonna I'll do something with it here at some point. It's in pretty good shape actually. It's not bad. One thing that bugs me every time I look at this mower, that hood emblem is not centered. It's been that way its whole life, I assume. It's just not centered. It just, it irritates me. My OCD looking at it. It's something else. Uh, oh, right here next to it, we got a Murray cart. That's a, uh, I own two of them currently. I've had three or four, and I've had some really nice, I've had a really nice one. I don't have it anymore, and I'm really upset about that. So, I'm always looking for another one. This one's pretty rough. The one at the house is kind of rough too, sadly. Um, let's see. We got this Scott's here. This is one I picked up in Missouri. This is a, it's got a rear fuel tank, which is pretty uncommon. In fact, from what I can tell, Murray only ever put a rear fuel tank in one mower, and it was this mower. This is the largest Scott's model that they made uh, for Home Depot. Of course, they only had the Scott's contract for two or three years. And uh, being the largest model, not every Home Depot carried it. Sometimes it was a special order, or even if they did carry it, they only carried one or two, you know, because it was the, the biggest, most expensive one. It's a 25 horsepower Briggs V-Twin. Right there. And you can see it doesn't have the fuel tank. It's got the battery up here because the fuel tank's back there. And it doesn't even have a cutout for the battery on the fender pan like they all do. That's pretty interesting. It's got a 50-inch deck. It has electric PTO, which is nice. It has a diagnostic dash panel like these big Scots models tend to have. So, pretty cool mower. This guy I got it from, he bought it brand new at Home Depot in 1999 and mowed with it he said about 15 years ago the transmission went out and he just parked it in his barn kind of forgot about it until he went to clean his barn up and he decided to sell it so i bought it from him and it runs he put a jump pack on it and it fired right up even on that 15 year old gas that's crazy oh uh, the fuel pump leaks a little bit but i mean it it runs so that's something like i said transmission's out i haven't verified that i haven't run it i haven't even messed with it so it could be no it's probably a Peerless hydrostat. Knowing them, it's not uncommon for them to go out. They're kind of, they tend to do that. But yeah, you can see the big fuel filler there, and the fuel tank's kind of, it's kind of hard to see, but it's up there under the fender pan. 
Um, that one behind it there, I think I've shown that mower before. I think I got a video of me mowing on it. That's a Husky, a 1985, 86 or so Husky from Tractor Supply. Um, it runs. It probably don't run now. It's been sitting for a minute. I probably need to go through the carburetor. But it runs, it drives, it mows. It's kind of ugly. Ain't got no paint left on it, uh, except for under the hood. I got the deck over there. I got a whole pile of 42-inch decks over there. So, it's a good old tractor. I plan on restoring it one day. I really like that tractor. I really like how it looked when it was new uh, in the catalog. So, that's going to be a fun one. Um, this one next to it. This is a... I don't know what year, because the tag is worn off. It's either 04 or 05. That's the only years I had this hood. It's a 04 or 05 Murray Performance Garden Tractor. It's got a uh briggs v-twin of some kind i don't know the horsepower i think it's 20 or 21 or something i got it from i got it in shreveport from a guy um i don't really know anything about it i think he said he swapped this motor in because the old one threw a rod or something i don't know it doesn't have a deck it's got a six speed uh peerless 820 in it one inch axles nice transaxle um oh yeah this motor besides got an 18 horse briggs post twin um so yeah this is a pretty neat mower i plan on doing something with it at some point i got another hood uh sitting right over there that i bought a long time ago in arkansas i've been wanting one of this style of murray for a long time they're pretty they're not super hard to come by but for me they have been like every time i want to get one i just never could make it work uh this one here i think i've shown this one before i can't remember this is a stanley i got this in oklahoma this was uh built by murray sometime around the early 2000s it's uh it's got the biggest mower deck Murray ever offered. It's a fifty two inch. So it's a it's a big wide thing. It's got a twenty two horse Tecumseh V twin. These V twins are interesting for they have uh two carburetors, one per cylinder, and this one's only running on one cylinder. Um the other side's not really doing too much. So I have not taken the time to look into do to why that is. I've just I've actually mowed my yard with this thing a couple times. It's pretty nice. It's down on power, obviously, but it works. Uh, it don't work right now, though. One of the battery cables came apart, so it's, again, it it went broke, so I parked it. I mow with something else now. I mostly mow with my all-wheel steer, to be honest, because it's, it's the most fun. <laughs> but, um, yeah, these Stanleys are interesting. They have these little kind of fender flare things, these little plastic pieces, which was only ever really seen on the Stanley. Now, I know on Murray's website around 2004, 2005, they show these on Murray Performance models with the same hood. But I've never seen a real life model with these pieces. I think it was just a prototype thing. I don't know. But interesting little mower. Um, this one behind it, we got another Scots. This one, this one's interesting for it has a Briggs opposed twin with an oil cooler, which you can't hardly see back behind that shrouding, but you can see it says it here, oil cooler package. It was kind of a uh scott's exclusive thing i've only ever seen them on the scott's mowers they had an 18 horse and i think they had a 20 horse as well um engine option but yeah post twin briggs old cooler on it it's very very interesting this also has the digi or the diagnostic panel on the dash this one is a hydrostat they have a cruise control on these hydrostats that little lever there on the fender and uh, it's got a 46 inch deck this thing is rough the wiring is all tore up i don't know if it runs i've never tried it they said it ran until the wiring got chewed up so i'm sure it could run you know without too much work but it's a little on the rough side but it's a damn good parts tractor so at the very least this here's lawn chief i've had several of these over the years this is a 1986 lawn chief 39013 made by murray it's got uh 18 horse Briggs, post twin, 42 inch deck. It's the exact same tractor as that Husky, but with a different hood and dash. Uh, this thing's in pretty good shape. It's It runs, it drives, it mows. I think I mowed my yard with it one time. Um, it doesn't need work. It, uh, from what I remember, the wiring's kind of hacked and the carburetor floods out, if I, th if I remember properly. But it's not a bad looking tractor. It's in pretty good shape. So that's something. This mower here, this is a Yard King Elite. I picked this up somewhere around Colleen, and uh don't know anything about it i know it's been sitting outside for a long time just by looking at it but um it's kind of like a scots for it's got the same body style and it has a diagnostic dash which is pretty interesting but this one has a kohler command v-twin which is really cool it's the only kohler mower i own currently uh it's the only mower i own that doesn't have a briggs actually so that's something um don't know if it runs i know the wiring's obviously hacked you can see it there 
So I'll mess with this one day. Uh, it's got a 46 inch DeX hydrostat. Does not have the cruise control like the Scots do. They didn't get that. They got the digit dash or the diagnostic dash, but that's it. Um, what's interesting about this one and that one, they have the 23 inch rear tires, but they have 15 inch front tires. Whereas usually, like the Stanley, if you have 23 inch back tires, you have 16 inch front tires. But some Murrays, uh, mostly the Scots and stuff like that, have the larger back tires but keep the smaller front tires another interesting thing a lot of these have cast iron front axles which is uncommon for murray this yard king does all the scots tractors do and that murray performance has a cast iron front axle uh the old ones obviously don't and the stanley does not it has a steel front axle but these other tractors have cast iron which is pretty cool this tractor here this is a 77 78 i think it's a late 77 um Sorry about the uh, cuts in the video here. It's so hot, my phone keeps turning off. It's only about a, it's only about 104 right now. But anyway, this thing is about a 77 Murray. Um, it's a first year model for a Murray badged garden tractor. Now, Murray did build tractors, garden tractors before this. In fact, this is actually like a 76 right here next to it, I think. But uh, Murray did not build a garden tractor with the Murray name on it until 77, which is this thing here. Before that, they just built them. Mainly, really, for Sears, I think. Um, they were part of Sears' economy line of garden tractors, like this uh, ST10 right here. So, it's pretty neat. This thing has 11-horse Briggs on it. Um, it runs. It kind of drives, but the guy I got it from pulley swapped it, so it's a, the pulley system's not factory. Um, but luckily, I have this parts tractor right next to it with the same drivetrain, so I can put it back to factory. So, it's pretty neat. I got the, the seats down there. Um, it did not come with a deck, sadly. And I really want to find a 36-inch deck for this thing. Um, it's in pretty good shape, honestly, for its age. The paint's actually not terrible, considering Murray didn't use the thickest paint. And Texas is usually pretty hard on them. So, it's not bad looking for around here. Um, but next to it, Sears ST10. I got this thing, a, oh gosh, a few years ago. Um, I mainly bought it just for that dash part that's missing. Uh, for another Sears I had. But I keep it around because it's good for parts. Um, that's all it's going to be is parts tractor because it's missing enough parts that I'm probably not going to fix it. I do have this centerpiece that goes here um, to cover all that. But uh, like the fender's dented, the steering wheel's bent, the hood's bent. It's just enough. I don't know. And also being I need the drivetrain parts for this one, I don't know what I'll ever do with this other than probably just use it for parts, sadly. Uh, this little thing is a little bitty thing. This is a Murray, a uh, 5 horsepower, 25 inch cut. It is a 3 speed and a pull start only. It does not have any electronics on it whatsoever other than a key switch to turn it off. Uh, it is a basic mower. It's basically a push mower that you can drive. So, very neat little mower. I haven't had it running. Uh, I know I could get it running pretty quick if I want to. I just haven't messed with it yet. But, it's pretty neat. This thing here, I basically bought this... The guy was about to scrap it. I got it for, I think, $20. It did not come with that hood. I've had to buy that hood somewhere else. Um, but it's a Murray late... It's like a 1990 or so, somewhere in there. Uh, yard tractor. It's, so it's a basically like a garden tractor frame, kind of. But it's it's got a lighter-duty transaxle in it. It's a it's kind of an odd deal. Uh, you can put a sleeve hitch on it, weirdly enough. It's got a Briggs 18-horse post twin. That is locked up, sadly. So... It, it it did come with a deck, which is over yonder. Um, it's kind of a parts tractor, but I do want to fix it. Because I like this body style of mower, and I kind of really want one. So, unless I find a nicer one, I might be one day trying to fix this thing up. Um, we're running out of mowers here. This little Husky. This is an 86 or 85, I can't remember. It's a Husky from Track Supply. 11 horsepower, 36 inch. The deck is somewhere over there. Uh, it runs, it drives, I've mowed with it. Uh, no, I don't think I have mowed with it. I think the deck's missing a part, actually. But, it did run and drive. The front wheels are on one of my Murray carts, so that's <coughs> that's why they're missing. It's a three-speed. It's got a little 11 horse Briggs in it. It's just, it's a mower. It's something. Um, the last Murray here, this is a 39004, uh, you know, kind of flagship Murray garden tractor. This thing, uh, I think, does run. I think I, we've actually had the engine running. I think it probably needs carburetor. Actually, no, I think the carburetor is good. I think it does just straight up run. Um, it's, uh, I have the deck for it. The steering is froze. I got to free up the steering. 
the bolts for the hood are gone for some reason. I probably have them somewhere. Uh, the seat's been ripped off. That's kind of common on these. I think I even have a battery cover. So, pretty cool tractor. Uh, I'll do something with it one day. It's always nice to have a 39004 around. And the last tractor here is not a Murray. It's the only non-Murray I own, except for my little Swisher. But uh, this is a Cub Cadet Zero Turn. It don't look like it, but it is a Zero Turn. It's got two transmissions in it. Um, this thing has no engine, has no deck, has no... Actually, I do have a seat that's at the house. Uh, I got this for like 50 bucks, basically just because I know the steering gearbox in this thing is worth like $300 used. And the transmissions are worth money, and the hood is not broken. So it's just, if anything, it's good parts. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Part of that one day or what, but... I figure for 50 bucks I can't go wrong owning it, so that's why I got it. But yeah, that is the collection for the most part currently. I think I own about 20 mowers right now, somewhere in there, 1920. And uh, of course I got a few of the house. I got the all-wheel steer, I've got the new old stock Craftsman, I've got um, a big Murray Performance Garden Tractor, the black one, and I've got, I think that's it. Oh, I got my little Swisher, but that's kind of a sore subject, that thing, it broke on me. So, second time ever using it. Anyway. But yeah, that's it. That's my mowers for now. I don't really plan on getting too much more. I got enough to keep me busy for a while. I got plans for most all of these. There's some tractors that are strictly just for parts. Like, I've gotten them just for parts. But other tractors, I have plans on to do stuff with them. So, And then there's some here that I have no plans on. Kind of like this one on the trailer. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just kind of wanted it. Um, But anyway, that's it. I'll try and do more videos as I do stuff to these tractors. Ain't gonna be soon because it's too damn hot. So, this will tie you over for now, I reckon. But thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If y'all got anything to say, comment down below. And thanks for watching.